Welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video, I'm going to be looking at this list of distributions in DistroWatch. I'm going to be starting a countdown timer. That timer is going to go down. Um, it's five minutes long and it's going to count down from 300 down to zero. Once it gets to zero, I stop. And in that time, I'm going to go through as many of these distributions as possible and tell you what they're for and uh, how suitable they are for the everyday Linux user. If I haven't used a distribution, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say I haven't used a distribution and I don't know what the answer is, but let's get going. So MX Linux is a really great distribution. It's Debian based. It comes with a great set of tooling, really easy to install, lightweight. It's from the same people that brought you anti-X Linux. Really, really good. Totally recommend it for new users. Linux Mint is possibly the greatest Linux distribution of all time. It's perfect for the everyday Linux user. If you're a Windows user coming to Linux, uh, Linux Mint is the one I would always recommend. It's very consistent. It's easy to install. You won't have to use the terminal at all. Um, and uh, it's the one that I recommend. Endeavor OS is an Arch based distribution. It's as close to Arch as you're going to get um, from a pre built distribution. So uh, it's easy to install and you get a desktop environment up and running, but then you're virtually in Arch at that point. Uh, Debian is like Linux Lego, it's the starting point that most distributions base themselves off, including Ubuntu and then Mint on top of Ubuntu. Uh, Debian, uh, there's a stable branch which which is um, kept well back from the latest and greatest uh, applications, but it's very, very stable. You can, of course, go to the Debian testing branch, which is a bit more up to date. Um, and then let's move on to Ubuntu. Ubuntu is the um, most well known Linux distribution out there. It uses the GNOME desktop environment. It's also using Snap packages for installing software. It is easy to use and easy to install, but probably not as easy to use as Linux Mint for new users. Uh, it's probably more compatible with more software packages uh, than um, most other distributions because any hardware vendor coming to Linux seems to do it for Ubuntu first. Manjaro is an Arch based distribution. It's um, easier to use than Endeavor OS, but it holds the packages back. It is not completely true to Arch. Arch is bleeding edge, and so uh, when a new package comes out, you get it straight away. Manjaro holds back a little bit, but it is very, very usable. It's probably the easiest to use of the arch based distros. Fedora, Fedora is again a bleeding edge distribution. It comes with lots of different desktop environments. But the ones to look out for I think nowadays are the atomic ones. So like your silver blues and your Canoid and your atomic budgie. They are great. They are perfect for the everyday Linux user. The others um, sometimes the installer is not great for Fedora. That's the only thing I would say. Pop OS is from the System76 team and it's for the hardware for System76 computers, but it is ace. It's really easy to use, comes up with its own desktop environment, which I think is called Cosmic, but really easy to use, in, easy to install, and it's probably as close to Mint as being the one I would recommend for the everyday Linux user. Cache OS is another Arch-based distribution. It's flown up the charts in the last year or so. Uh, I found it a little bit hit and miss when I used it, but it's probably improving uh, day in day out. We're now down to about two minute marks. So I'm going to speed up a bit. OpenSUSE. OpenSUSE is one of the original Linux distributions. Uh, again, it's uh, there's two versions of it. There's a Tumbleweed and there's a normal version. So one of them is uh, roll and release. One of them's a standard sort of like six month release. Again, it comes with lots of different desktop environments. Not that easy to install. It's fairly corporate the way it looks and feels. Zorin is another Ubuntu based type distribution. It come, Its key selling point is easy to use, easy to install, looks a lot like Windows, has a lot of uh, different desktop sort of like enhancements you can do to make it look like the environment that you want it to and it's uh, compatible with Windows apps because it comes with things like Wine. KDE Neon is a KDE based uh, distribution. It Basically it's um, got a really good setup with KDE based software, um, really good, actually really easy to use. Uh, Nabara, Nabara is a Fedora based distribution but it's actually easier to install than Fedora and it's really, really good. It's like um, if Mint is um, Ubuntu Plus, then Nabara is Fedora Plus. I, however, I would say that uh, the Fedora, Silver Blue, etc., is um, excellent as well. So AntiX is the same people that brings you MX Linux, but it's very, very lightweight indeed. If you've got a really old computer, then I'd put AntiX onto it. 
Elementary is a lightweight distribution, comes with a Pantheon desktop. Uh, I'm not that keen on it. It's got lots of bugs and it's hard to install software and there isn't much included by default. NixOS I've never used. Tuxedo is from the same people that bring you the Tuxedo computers. Actually, this was a great distribution. I installed it, definitely very recommended uh, for the everyday Linux user. Garuda Linux is another Arch-based distribution. It's eye candy, but it's, it's totally in your face. Uh, Vanilla is another immutable distribution and the time is up. Thank you for watching.